Yeah. yeah. Well, Wait. do you know who doesn't have a job right now? Who? J.C. Kipnis, because he officially retired from baseball. We all he was I Mike think he Briefer. wants to get into broadcasting. Yeah. At one point he did. I don't know. He, he retired a couple years ago. He just didn't know. This is official. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. He, uh, well, he didn't play last year. He did not, no. Um, he and, play, and he played in. He played one year with the Cubs. And after, was okay, but didn't play much. He didn't play much. Have you officially retired? From baseball? Yeah. No. <laughs> Why would I? No, he's like, like I, hey. that's what I got. To, like, it's like Jason Kittens is you, done. Jay's like, nope. It's a funny story. We Spring were playing Brain. in the Florida tournament last year, um, and it was the eighth <laughs> inning of, like, the se- semifinal round, and I was, like, 111 pitches, and our, our manager came up to me and said, I think I think you've given us all you can. I want to save you if we need a couple innings in the championship game. And I go, I'm not coming out. Like, I, 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 you know, I've got another 20, and I can still yeah. give you three or four in the in the finals. And he goes, he leaned down and he goes, Jay. I looked. There's no scouts up in this game. It's okay. This serious. Are you allowed to have played in, play in your league if you played so, the majors? No, there's there's one tournament that I can't play in every year in Arizona, which yeah. is so stupid. I, I would I do I did I play professional baseball? I yeah. did. Um, I donated the money to charity. I didn't take one penny of it. Um, but I have a pro baseball reference you know, page, and yeah. so they look at that. And I got caught. Me and one of my teammates who was oh, actually really? drafted and played as high as Double A on a team from Connecticut. We we w- had won the game to advance to the championship <laughs> game. And oh, so you not never forget to play this team from Milwaukee. Yeah. These idiots <laughs> said. These two, these two guys played professionally. Yeah. They did. And they Googled our names, and there that came up our right pages. There. And we were getting ready for the championship game, which was yeah. going to be the next day. And the commissioner of the tournament <laughs> came and said, Who did you out? Uh, Jay Crawford, which one are you? And, I, and, 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 and what's the other one? Boom. You guys have pro experience. I'm like, well, I, okay. Nine or ten innings, whatever I pitched. Now, the other guy had a lot more, and they're like, you guys are done. You forfeit. That seems silly. I can, understand, I can understand if guys played in the majors. Yeah. That's different. Well, I, the, in the tournament in Florida, Roger yeah. Clemens plays. There's a lot of oh, former really? major leaguers. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of former major leaguers that play. Well, maybe Jason Kipp this next and year. Listen, Jason, if you're looking for a team, yeah. maybe maybe you are. Does it haunt you that your career record in the pros is 0-1? No, and I'll tell you why. The, the, um, I ended my career, I think I've, I've told this story, with uh, a start. It's the shortest no-hitter in baseball history. But I was pulled after two no-hit innings in my last start. So, I mean, I left on top, kind of, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't, I don't care what and, nobody says. And the team did go on to win. So, even though I wasn't the pitcher of record, hey. I can say I pitched a no-hitter and we won in my last <laughs> minor league I, start. I've been telling people that I had a cup of coffee. I had a muffin or whatever it is you call <laughs> one inning, but I was in the league. Don't play with me. I was. Darrell Evans was the manager of the team, and he was really upset that what I team was, What team was it again? It was the Long Beach Armada. And when I came off the mound, he was shaking his head, and the pitching coach was shaking his head. And they're like, "Damn you!" And I'm like, "What?" And they said, I, I, "We were kind of hoping that you would have given up some base hits because I got to pull you. I've got. I think I told this story. There was a guy who had been a major leaguer." and been hurt and he was supposed to start the next day but the scouts got it wrong mm. and the so all these were scouts there. were there to see him pitch and they were watching me and you know i'm i'm like if i if i go perfect in the second he can't pull me <laughs> well, <laughs> oh yes he, he can <laughs> jay don't answer this question this is for the other three of you do you think jay has every stat on his baseball reference page memorized no i don't he actually would be truthful. I was looking at I was looking to do something for Jay. I think he played for two teams. I did. Now the Long Beach Armada, they don't have a, a, a hat because I was looking for it. I have I have some hats. I, w- I was looking for it. Now the other team it's, the other team has St. Like, Paul pa- Saints. Yeah, looks, they, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they have that, but they, I couldn't find the other. St. Paul Saints are now affiliated. They are. They're the Twins Triple A. I, I think so. Yeah. They drew great. I mean, that was so much fun there. Yeah. Long Beach was like maybe a couple thousand fans, um, but I, I, I know my ERA. I know yeah. that because it's like 2.1 or close 2.25. 2.25. Nice. Did yeah. you give up two runs in eight innings? Um, he had eight innings pitched. Yeah, I think I did. Should we run through the stats? Yeah. Sure. And then we'll get into Kip. No, the one that bothers me are the walks because in St. Paul on my first appearance, the pitching coach had me intentionally walk four guys. No, oh, I think I pitched it, it like only four. says one. It only says one. No, I. Well, you know what? 
He came out to the mound when I was I was up 0-2, and the pitcher called for a slider, and I shook him. I, want, I wanted a changeup. And the manager got so upset that he came back, and he called the catcher out, and he goes, walk this guy. What? And I'm like, I got him 1-2. And he goes, he leads the league in home runs. You're, you're going to – He's going to lose one on you. Who gives a so, shit? So that one technically wasn't an intentional walk, but he said, if you throw another strike, you're out of the game. <laughs> what? Insane. So I did walk him on curveballs out of the zone, way out of the zone, hoping he would chase. Well, this guy was about 6'3", 250. He looked like Cecil Fielder. I'm like, this guy, this guy. <laughs> and and in, in the uh, before the game, the pitching coach was going over their hitters. He's like, this is the guy you don't pitch to. But I said, screw it. I'm not going to walk anybody. I'm here for a yeah. minute. Yeah. And when I got him down 0-2, he swung and missed it. Two sliders. I'm like, okay. Now, I knew he was sitting on a slider for the third one. That's why I shook to a change. But it upset the manager so much that it wasn't the pitching coach. The manager came out and told me, if you throw another strike to him, you're out of the game, Jay. Don't screw around with this guy. So I walked. <laughs> that is so bizarre. Yeah, I know. Beach. I know. We got, we'll do your numbers tomorrow because we need to get a clip long enough for Jason Kipnis before we yeah. do top five. Yeah, so okay. we have seven minutes to talk Jason Kipnis. I was not aware of his importance to the Cleveland sports scene as a big. non-Clevelander the last decade. Yeah. So what do you guys remember most about Jason Kipnis? Uh, uh I actually think of the foul ball he hit that would have won, the, would World have won the World Series. Uh, even though it, when you look at the replay, it, it's not really close. But no. at the, in the moment, there off was the, bat, the bat, everybody yeah. said, that's it. Yes. Yep. And Jason Kipnis was just a popular teammate, yeah. a fun guy, a nice guy. He was always good in interviews. And he was a good player. You know, it's almost like we only care. Like some people are like, oh, who cares? He was just a guy. But like. He was a nice player. Nobody never going to the Hall of Fame. No. He's never getting a vote for the Hall of Fame. I don't Fame. even know if he made an All Star team. He may have. Oh, made he did. One. He did two. 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 He okay. made two yeah. All Stars. Okay. He was a good hitter. He In could, his prime, I thought he was an excellent second. He was baseman. a really good hitter. Couldn't play the field. He, he, not a great he's, he's a guy. Right. He's a guy that, that looks like he can he can make a nice living in this town, right? He'll, you know, he, he's good with people. He's yeah. good I don't in the know media. that he'll come back here, though. He's a yeah. Chicago guy. No, yeah, I don't know where he's living. He went these back days. to the Cubs. He had Look at this. In, Ranks in, among second basemen in Cleveland French history. First and Homer, second. That's pretty good. Yeah, I would, it's good. Hey. They had Carlos Baerga and Robbie Alomar. Yeah. Who, my goodness, those guys were. You know, Robbie Alomar Hall of Fame. That's all right. And Carlos Baerga had some years here, too. He got a little power. Baerga stolen had a bunch bases. Of 200 hit years. I remember him hitting some big home runs for the for the Indians, no too. No doubt. No um, doubt. And I thought he was a great clubhouse guy. Jay, you probably can speak to that a little better. I just, I always found him to be great in interviews, like Bull said. But guys liked him. He was very And he popular. was funny. He was a yeah. fun guy to be around. And yeah, you could have an actual conversation with him. Like, you could you could talk about things. Yeah. And, and he was I, – I really enjoyed – he was on his way out as I was sort of moving into this role of leaving the NBA and dealing with all the teams in town. And he and I had a great conversation in Arizona his last year where he's like, this might be it for me. Like, I may not get another contract. He thought he was going to be forced out of the league even then. Yeah. And he was able to hold on for another year. So. You can't be showing pictures of him on the Cubs. Hey. I just well, realized that hey. we have to have a discussion. That, with well, that, that, that's that's where it ended here. for him. And, hey, and obviously, that's very the Cubs cool. are part of his legacy for a lot of sure. reasons. Number one, you mentioned that foul ball. Yeah. I, my heart stopped for sure. Um, it's a team he grew up rooting for. He grew up in Chicago. He grew up a Cubs fan. Yeah. He ended his career there. And also, if you were to point to like any controversy that he had here, and he wasn't that kind of guy. He wasn't a controversial guy. But he wrote a letter after the World Series chiding the fans that sold their tickets to Cubs fans. Mm -hmm. Because when I walked into the building that night, and I actually, oddly enough, walked in with a group of Cubs fans that were also guys that worked at ESPN. But one of them had said, it's home field advantage for us tonight. All we lack is the Wrigley charm. And I go, you're out of your tree. And as you're looking around, he was absolutely right. I, as my memory, now I could have been wrong, but there, to me, there were more Cubs fans than Indians fans. At best, it was 50-50. At best, 50-50. Yeah. I just remember after the final out, all of the Cubs fans came down to the low bowl yep. to celebrate, yep. and it was damn near full. Yeah. And got, Indians fans just couldn't get out fast yeah. enough. I, I imagine. And uh, he took a lot of heat for that. A lot of people were like, hey, Jay, and your million-dollar uh, salary. Yeah. Um, those tickets are going to pay for my season tickets next year. Yeah. But that I still think Jason Kipnis was right. You buy these tickets in hopes that you get to go to a game seven to watch your team win the World Series. And the series in the game was so close. 
Yeah. I think the home crowd could have been a difference I, if it was I a think, true home crowd. But the problem is, I'm sure a lot of people, a lot of the Cubs fans that had tickets for that game bought them from ticket brokers and people like that that don't care about but, those things. But, but to, to buy them, we had to sell them. Yeah. A lot well, of, no, a lot but of ticket people. brokers should buy, buy season tickets. No, but no, 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 in no. that instance, a lot of people, I think, were selling their tickets oh. because of the prices that they were going for. They were getting I, I get what you guys are saying. a ticket. In the end, yeah, I can't. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not, I can't you know, a lot blame. of fans I, made it, that choice. It's tough. You want your home field to be your home field. Yeah. yeah. It's tough. I'm not going to tell people to do with their money. Did, you, yeah, did I mean, anybody think that Kipnis was wrong for writing that letter to the fans? Because a lot of fans were hot I about it. I, I understood why fans would be mad at that, but I didn't, like, I don't think I criticized Was Kipnis he right? Time. I don't was remember. his premise right that you guys really should have held on to these tickets? You may never have that opportunity in your lifetime again. Some people may not may think they'll never get the opportunity to hold twenty thousand dollars in their hand yeah. ever. They're like, you know how long I gotta work for twenty thousand? Man, I make like, or but I'm these not. Are people though that must have some disposable if you can buy, income. If you can buy, good point. Season tickets. It's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, we're not talking about lower income folks, and we're also talking about the upper echelon, the core of your most yeah. ardent fans. Fan base. Plus, the people, the tickets that were really ten thousand dollars are field seats. Sure. To have season ticket field seats, you're not hurting. You're not hurting for money. That extra ten thousand. So yeah, the more I think about it, it well, maybe okay. I'm well, still not gonna tell people what to do with their money. But you if, bought if, that ticket, for, you do instance, what you want. What with if it. they had? What if they had tickets for the whole series? Like the people probably don't you get tickets for the whole series? Yeah, you, I mean you can. You, you you have the right to buy tickets. Well, why sell games. Game Seven? I game mean, it's the most seven. expensive. Uh, yeah. Like, come on. I, well, but like, what's the point of being a season ticket holder if you're not gonna go to Game Seven of the World Series? It's I don't game I, 52 against the White Sox. Yeah. I don't I don't like, think if it was a Super Bowl. I don't think it's hard pressed to find anybody would have sell Browns tickets. I no. don't think nobody will. Which sell is the another tickets. reason why some people would have but not like it was for the World Series. Yeah, Browns. That fans. was a perfect yeah. storm of events. Chicago is so close. It's a quick yeah. drive. There's and a lot they were more thirstier than we were. Their yeah. drought was actually longer than our drought. Yeah, but I think it's all to, to fans who are alive. It's all relative. So, they so were, that, it was equally as long. more more yes. income. To, to spend in Chicago, absolutely. Like they just came here, right. and like the Cubs, it was nothing throwing. And the Cubs away. like the Browns, but even more so, are a national team. Right. So you know are, what? You know what killed team. that game for the Indians? It wasn't the home field advantage. The rain it, was the, it was the rain delay. Rain delay killed it. If there's no rain delay, yeah, we're throwing a parade. Is, is that is no is, is that the same as the Detroit Lions versus the Cleveland Browns, like in the Super Bowl? Would that be? Yeah. The same? That's no, a, because I, the Lions. Because Detroit don't have the. Income. But the Lions aren't as popular as the Cubs. Right. No, but just in terms of long droughts, like. Right. The, the, those are the two sure, longest yes. routes in the NFL, and they were the two longest routes in Major League Baseball. Well, the Lions and Browns could both be good next year. They Listen, <laughs> I, my dream while. Super Bowl would be that it's against the Lions. Yeah. Wow. It would be incredible. On, we'll on so many fronts. 